Hey guys, I'm back with another makeover from the Industry Makeup Academy and I have my lovely model here. We're doing a an everyday makeup for mature skin. Um, this is real women makeup, it's not Instagram makeup. Something that you could totally do at home for work, school, every day. So I have my model here and I moisturized and primed her skin first. And then I'm going in with corrector and I'm dis I'm covering up the discoloration um, on her eyes and on her under eye circles in any other spots because she doesn't have bad skin. I just want to lighten up any areas that are a little bit darker. And then I go in with concealer. This is a Graftobian Warm Cream Foundation. And a, the cream foundation is acting as a concealer so I can spot treat anything I want to lighten up or just cover up. And then I'm also using it as an eye primer. The salmon concealer I used was from Eve Pearl. So make sure to blend everything in really well. With mature skin, you have to be careful not to let anything sink into any fine lines. So blending is very important. And use a stippling motion because you don't want it to blend away the coverage. So now I'm setting everything around her eyes with um, a powder. Uh, this is Mineralized Skin Finish Natural with um, from MAC and I use a lighter color around the middle of her face and then a, a deeper color that's more for her skin tone. So instead of doing foundation, all I really did was correct her, a little bit of concealer where she needed and then I set it with powder. Super easy and her skin looks nice and bright, easy breezy. For her brows, I did very natural fill in. This is MAC Lingering Brow Pencil which is a really nice medium brown so it's not too dark. It just kind of gives her brows a little bit more of a fill in. I'm not creating any crazy arches or anything like that. Brush the, ha the hairs up. That also makes you look nice and young and lifted. So on the lid, I'm setting that um, concealer on her eyes with um, a pretty much like a base tone shadow. And this is going to help prevent creasing and it's going to smooth everything out. And then I'm just using one eyeshadow. This is a slight bronze, not high shimmer. You want to avoid anything too shimmery because that draws attention to fine lines. And this is just going to be the one lid color. That's all you need, just a little bit of definition. And I'm lifting her lid up in order to get in all of the fine lines, especially if you have hooded lids, um, just any kind of um, droopy skin. You want to make sure that you get in between all of the little crevices. And then instead of um, a harsh liner, I'm using a dark brown pencil. Really easy to use. Everybody can use pencil. And that's on the top lash line as well as the lower half of um, the outer half of the lower lash line. And this is going to add some definition. The liner doesn't have to be perfect. All you need to do is get it on there and then smudge it out with a corresponding dark shadow. This is from my Neutral Vizart palette. I'm using a small smudger brush from my Vortex collection. So the key is to make sure that the liner on the bottom isn't too dark. Um, I'm going to erase it a little bit with concealer. It's an easy little trick to kind of touch up. And a pencil brush. And that way it's not too overwhelming. I just want to create a little bit of definition around the eye, which is what the eyeliner is for. And it's all smoked out so it's nice and soft. And it's a darker color than her bronze lid color, so you have two different definitions. All right, so now I'm gonna apply mascara. I'm using Maybelline Falsies. Uh, the key is to lift up the lid a little bit because you don't want the mascara wand touching your eyeshadow and messing it all up. I also put my little pinky there as a barrier between the mascara and the eyelid. So now blush, I'm using this Duo, uh, Duo Fiber Stippling Blush, which I like for blush because you don't overdo it and you can have a lighter touch. I love blush because it just gives color back to the skin and it's great for every day. It just makes it just so fresh and youthful. After blush, then it's just lips. So I'm using something close to her natural lip color. The pencil is really good because it will redefine the lip line, which sometimes you lose a little bit as you get older. And it's gonna prevent any feathering or, or bleeding of the lip color. And then I'm using it to fill in all the way to act as a base. So it will keep the lip lasting all day. Make sure to moisturize it first though because you don't want it to be tugging on dry skin. And then I'm going to apply a creamy lipstick. This is um, from my Visart lip palette. I'm just using a Q-tip. I love a kind of semi-gloss lipstick on mature skin because it adds moisture and a little bit of dew and it kind of plumps the lips back up. Again, very natural color, close to her, so close to her natural lip color. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, it's a very natural, easy to do. It really could take you 15 minutes. Um, 
great for natural clients and everyday women. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out makeupbyrenren.com for a full list of products and pictures. And check out ima-atlanta.com if you're interested in taking my pro certifications to see if you want to do this look yourself. Hope you had a good time and enjoy. Until next time, ciao bellas.